And so as you go to the highest dimension, which is vibrating so fast that it creates a place without time, without anybody, no body, no, no thing, nothing is there because it's, it's in this amazing vibration that we as humans cannot even uh, sense what is there because it's a void, because it's in this high, high dimension of creation. And our thoughts and our higher emotions will create great, amazing things back into the dimension where our body is. Because we get our mind and our heart and our emotions, which is the energy of the body, in congruence, we go to the void and it creates a new reality in this reality. Does that answer your question? I guess what type of breathing? Currently what I do is I literally focus on my breath, breathing in the prana of God, which is the energy of God that's in throughout the universe, bringing in that love, that light, and then as I breathe out, I just let go of anything that is not in congruence with God and with the light and with the love, and then I breathe in again, and then I create the intent, attach it to the love of my heart, get them in congruence, in alignment, and what that does, my intent is to go to the void with love, the higher emotional state, and literally I go and, and there's nothing. There's nothing there. And when I'm in that nothing, that's when I start to visualize me running and jumping and climbing the Mount Kilimanjaro so that I create within myself health and strength and the ability to climb that mountain. Now I know in my thoughts, if I know how to climb that mountain and I create the ability through the strength and the energy, it's going to change my body in this reality. And I can tell you, it, it works. Today we went hiking up in Zion. Uh, I still need to work more on my pancreas because every time I go and exercise, my sugar just, boom, it drops. The insulin in my body just works so well, I get hypoglycemic. <laughs> so we have to fill in all the blanks. I need to visualize also that my pancreas starts working perfectly, that my beta cells, which create the insulin, are working in congruence with my liver and the glycogen and all the different physiologic things that happen. Now you don't have to do that. You can just ask for the perfection to come within your body. And that's, that's what I need to do is just have that perfection, heal my pancreas, heal everything so that I'm strong and healthy and I can climb that mountain. Does that help? Yes, thank you. You're welcome. I'll take one more question tonight. I know we're going a little over time, but it's okay. I'll just stop. Yes. Uh, Richard here. Wow, what a great webinar. Um, <clears throat> I, I just like to ask about um, the Ascension Temple that Bradley is Yes. And how that is coming along and how that ties in with our um, ascension uh, timetables in, in the world is at large. Yes. Now, the whole ascension temple concept was actually brought through a contact that Kirk had after I gave him a blessing. And in that blessing, I blessed him that he would be able to create a ascension temple 
that would assist with the creation of the ascension. Now what these are, we've had ascension temples on planet Earth before, and they were mainly in Egypt and uh, in Mexico, down in South America, in Uluru, in uh, uh, Australia, uh, in China, in the Gobi Desert, in uh, Europe, uh, up by, uh, in Russia, in, by the White Sea, the Bering Sea. And these ascension temples were used to create higher vibrations and energies and all the humans who were interacting with these devices would go through a process of cleansing and accelerating their evolution. And so uh, it was interesting when I, I met Kurt oh, probably 12 years ago and he lived in St. George and he was you know he was the main manager of the water treatment plant because he knew all about how to shift water and make it better for us and and uh, but he was going through some personal stuff and literally Everybody thought he went a little bit nuts and all of a sudden he disappeared, you know, his marriage dissolved, he wasn't around his kids and, and he lost everything. And he actually went off to uh, be a contractor for the military. And, but anyway, I met Kirk again uh, two years, three years ago and he came in with a big bag of shrapnel. And you probably all remember this story. He was running away as he was being shot at with mortars from the Al-Qaeda there in Afghanistan. And as he was running, he said, God, why is this happening to me? As he was zigzagging, trying to keep from being killed. And he heard a voice say, go see Dr. Werner. He has the answer to your question. <laughs> So he slammed that shrapnel on my table and he said, why did this happen to me? And I said, Kirk, because you have a higher plan from God and he wants you to create and help create the ascension. And when then he disappeared again, I didn't hear from him. And then all of a sudden I heard from him in uh, he was living in Denver, Colorado area. And I got really strong that I needed to go see him and give him a blessing. And in that blessing, I blessed him that he would be able to create ascension temples. Now he was currently working on some free energy devices. Do you all know what free energy devices are? They're the devices that can make energy out of the prana and the scalar energy. And so they literally pull that energy and they make electricity out of it. And, and, but they make a whole lot. You know, I, the first one I saw was about this size, about 12 by 12 by 12. And it was a box and it literally could power a city larger than 20,000 people and all their homes with all the power they needed. And Kirk was developing this device and he had asked me, we had had contact before I went and gave him the blessing, and he asked me how should I make it so that the secret space programs and the men in black don't come and take it away from me? Because that's what happens to most people making these devices. All, they, they turn them on, the secret uh, black men in black see the signature come on when this device it produces a lot of energy they can kind of see it like Cerebro you know in the X-Men when he puts that helmet on he sees all the humans and then he's can you can see the the stronger X-Men and when this comes on you can see that signature come on and they come and confiscate it and he says, what do I do? And I says, well, make it with the 24, or make it with uh, 
the double spiral helix like our DNA, and our DNA creates energy, believe it or not. Uh, it creates a Merkaba and it starts spinning and creating energy. So we actually produce our own energy within ourselves through our DNA. So I don't want to go too far into this, but uh, after I gave him the blessing, he started getting downloads from Archangel uh, Zadkiel, Z-A-D-K-I-E-L, who is the Archangel of the Violet Flame. And then a week later, St. Germain came to him and he gave him these concepts of creating Ascension Temples. Does that make sense? So that's where that whole thing came from. And it's actually old technology, but it's being brought back through Kirk Bradley and others. Wow, uh, that's great, thank you. Yeah, it's pretty cool stuff. So I, it's time for me to give you all a blessing. And uh, next week, our uh, talk is actually going to be on service to self and others. Now, believe it or not, this is a very important concept. And the assignment will be, well, we'll discuss that next week. Because this week, I want you to focus on learning and expressing more faith and focus on believing God is in charge and going to that void and creating your reality through faith and belief. So I'm going to give you all a blessing now. We'll do that right now. Whew. Having been mandated by the creator of the universe and dedicated by the great divine director, the ascended masters, the angels, the archangels, and beings of light and love, and the elementals in the seven Elohim, we give you a blessing for your behalf. We bless you that your faith will increase, that your belief will increase, that your creative abilities will increase with that increase of faith and belief, that you will take that faith and belief and the love and joy and peace of God, the higher emotional states, to create what you desire. We bless you, you will be able to go to the void and have faith that you are able to go to the void and create all that you desire. Be prepared as you go to that void and know what you desire to create because it will create. And you will be able to be in congruence with the light and love of God and the creation. We bless you that you will create happiness, peace, abundance, prosperity for yourself, the planet, and all the humans on the planet. That you will be able to help yourselves and help others to create the reality of light, love, peace, and harmony on the earth. We bless you with these things and know that you are creators and setting your mind, setting your focus on doing this will bring about the ascension of earth and all the humans upon it. We bless you with these desires. We bless you that you will have abundance and happiness and joy in your lives and know of your power. We seal this blessing upon you and do it in the name of the Almighty. I am that I am, and in the name of Jesus Christ and all of the Ascended Masters. So be it, so it is. Just know we're going to have three videos coming out because it comes in 20-minute increments. Thank you, thank you, thank you for today. This is a, an amazing lesson, and I hope you just take it to heart that you have the faith and belief that you are a creator and you go to that void and create what you desire. God bless you. We'll talk to you next week. God bless you.
Thank you. Thank you, sir.